What's going on YouTube? Clayky's old back again with another Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. And in today's video, I'm going to cover costumes. Are they worth to buy it? How many should you get? What should you spend? Your diamonds or gold or even money? And we're also going to talk about associations and how that can really help your ultimate and make sure that your uh, team gets as high of combat class as you can get. Let's get into it. So again, guys, you've been grinding hard, but you really want to get that combat class up, and you want to be doing as most damage as you can in the game so you can fight that red demon, farm as effectively as you can, and start winning some PvP matchups. Well, I've got some news for you. You're probably not getting the most out of your unit yet uh, if you don't know these little tips and tricks right here about costumes. So first off, we're going to head over to the closet. And what uh, costumes are, are there cosmetics where you can make your unit look how you want, depending on what skin you have in the game. On top of that, they're going to give you some stats. You can see here what outfit stats that I get. We have outfits weapons and then cosmetics anything from like a headpiece so an eye patch and sunglasses you can customize your uh hero to look however you want uh, with what the game has available to you but the first thing i want to point out is that if you look at these costumes they're up on this hanger right here right you can see some of them they're locked but they're not up on the hanger if you look at here it says registered outfit two out of five when you get to five out of five you can have up to five costumes on at the same time and they all give stats so just because i have this one equipped right now to make my unit look that way doesn't mean i'm not getting the stats from this one up to five and that means five here five in the weapons i have four out of five here and then five out of five on the cosmetics will all give you extra stats to your unit making them that much stronger meaning that costumes are very important when you guys are talking about pvp and gearless pvp you know there's a gearless pvp and then there's geared pvp the gearless is the one that gives you guys the diamonds every week these costumes do in fact work in that pvp so you, these are very important even i need to start getting my hands on more of these and making sure that uh <clears throat> you know i get all the stats that i can out of this so the way you, first way you guys are going to be able to obtain it is go to the sacred treasure shop you'll find it over there it looks like a little clothes hanger and you guys can come in here and buy them up for um either diamonds or sometimes real money now depending on how you feel i think you really should go for ur or ssr costumes you can get the sr ones if you would like um but you know as far as investment and you know the major stats and you know the better stats you want to go for the ur or the ssr when it comes to buying these should you buy costumes 100 percent. if you see a costume that you like you're looking to fill out your five out of five go ahead and buy them with diamonds if you want buy them with your gold you know look snazzy because again this game is going to be giving you diamonds every week uh and, and it's good investment right to max out a unit you're going to have to have you know five out of five and all their costume slots to make sure you're getting that much more power out of it so you can go in here buy whatever you would like there are real uh you know like actual real life currency uh purchases you can make that is up to you if it's worth it if you really like it it's kind of like a cosmetic skin and maybe a game like league of legends or something and it also gives you bonus stats in the game that's going to be up to you if you'd like to purchase that another way you guys can get a hold of these costumes is putting up your affinity level so this level right here is uh essentially how much the character likes you is, it, is the way it's going to work on your account and you guys can feed them this beer here that you guys get from the uh the tavern you guys can get this beer or ale every single um day you just got to make sure meliodas goes and fills it up and you want to do that every day that way that you can have these defeat and they go to every character Th this helps level up every character also characters have certain items or food that they really like and that will help them as well so when you see like uh for a food piece for example i don't know if it'll show me here if i hold on it it says battle regeneration 20 percent. so if you eat this before battle you'll get that regeneration rate but if you also gift it to king you get an affinity plus 100 so you'll see a lot of your food say affinity plus 100 to a certain character that is what it means and you really want to level this up because you get some nice rewards you get some diamonds and at the very top you are going to get a cosmetic that will give you stats see i'm going to get 930 hp and a little bit of recovery rate for king and a nice cool pirate looking hat which is something you want to work on on every character um, so the other way to get it besides those two ways are pop-up shops and the pop-up shops unlock after you get a certain um, uh, Affiliation with the you know the heart level once you get that up so far So we're gonna head over to the world map and we're gonna go look at a pop-up shop and then know which one They are pop-up shops meaning they pop up to know which one is available uh, You can look in the bottom left of your um in the bottom left over here of your map uh currently i don't think i have any up but we're gonna hit the vanya because i think that's where i had it so let's go take a look um but that's where you guys are gonna be able to farm or not farm but get your hands on some more of those uh awesome ur or ssr uh you know cosmetics that you guys want to get uh get on your units so heading over here let's see so we go to pop-up shop i'm unsure if it's going to be here or not let's go take a look it looks like it's over there so we're good it, I, I guess maybe it's like a flash shell or is she not there 
She might not be there. Okay, so you, she has to be here, so that's why you have to see it. It's a pop-up shop, so it'll randomly be up. But you can go over here and look and see what items will be there when she's available. So checking out this, you can see that at the uh, shop here in Vanya, I can get some Meliodas and Captain Meliodas Blood Swords you are. Some uh, fancy ceremonial sword. You know, you can go through this and see what all you can get from these shops, but these are all different items you can obtain, and there will be gold or diamond value. Before you buy these for gold, please be aware that when you kill the red demon in that town, you get a 20% off, including on the pop-up shop. So before you go in here spending off all your gold, because they're very expensive, like 500000 things like that, make sure you have that 20% gold um, cost decrease, because they they, they want to, the town wants to pay you back for taking out the red, red demon that was attacking them. It will not apply to the diamond ones, and I think the URs are diamond cost. So that's up to you. And you can really go look through these different towns uh, and see where the pop-up shops are and what you actually are looking for and maybe what you'd get. So those are cosmetics there. Very, very important. You guys definitely want to be picking up those uh, in the near future. The next thing I want to talk about is a unit association. Or the, when you go to set team, what I'm talking about when I say association are these little tiny square units that pair with your main unit team, okay? These units are very important in making sure that you are very strong and gives you more stats and more things in battle. Essentially, if you see this little association symbol, you see it looks like it's all tied in a knot, that means you're getting a special stat for that. So if I go to her and I click on, let's say I'm going to use this one, see how it has that special like lock-in symbol? If you click on it, it'll tell you. It says increases uh, the associated hero's basic stats by 5%. Now this is just going to be the stats on that hero. So the stats on this specific Diane, Diane is going onto this king. That those stats are based off of gear that this level, this unit's level, so these little units' levels, their ultimate level gives you up to 10%. I think once you max it out, so you need to get their ultimate level. You really need to max out all of the unit stuff, even if they're going to be in the association slot. On top of that, we're getting a special association effect, which is what you see here with like the link chain that's giving us 240 to defense. Now, there are different uh, units that give different things. Like if I put him on, I'm getting 10.6%. A regeneration rate and it, so forth and so on to learn more and to kind of see what associations can go with the unit you go ahead and hold on the unit when you get to the unit screen go ahead and click on the unit here and then head to association once you go to this you're gonna be able to see uh, a list of the different associations this unit has and uh, you know what they kind of get from it and so forth and so on another way to do that is go into the wiki page and under the unit it'll have a lot of their associations but that's not all it keeps going from there you can see that this one right here on my Meliodas has two swords going through it. What that means, if you have the association link and the swords going through it, you're getting your ultimate uh, to have a, a special effect. And that's going to be very, very important because it makes it do more damage and it, it intensifies it quite a bit. And what we, they called it in JP was Fate. So when you guys hear me refer, refer to combo ultimate or Fate uh, link, that is what we're referring to is when they have the swords crossing in, making your ultimate stronger. So you guys are going to have your pick of if you want defense, attack. There's all kinds of different effects depending on the unit. Uh, but you really want to go for the fate effects because you know you want your ultimates doing more damage or better effects um, And you want to max out these units. It's very important like if you guys are like Teetering around a certain combat class you're trying to reach and you're like man I really just I don't know what else to level up like I've leveled up my unit I, I need to farm and it's hard for me to farm look into leveling up these associations because that's gonna be very important When it comes to making your unit stronger and one last thing I want to talk about before we get out of here guys are the units passive So we're gonna head over here to Gil Thunder who has an amazing passive for PvP It's a unique ability here. This unique ability is available to unlock once you get the units uh, Let's go to one that I haven't unlocked yet so I can show that off first Let's go to this Arthur right here. When you get the unit's uh, combat class to 16,000, you can go do a small like mini trial. It's like a cool little lore story thing with the character. You can auto it, put it on auto, and it'll beat it for you. But then it unlocks the unique ability. So moving back to uh, Guild Thunder, we do have one of the better PvP ones. Increase all allies' defense-related stats by 30% in PvP. So he's great to have in your sub slot in PvP. So going from there, when is that passive activated? The passive is activated when they are on one of the four main slots. Even in the sub slot, even if this sub spot never comes into the battle, as long as he's there, he's giving and his passives unlocked, he's giving it to your entire team. The association spot down here do not give passives. So it's very important. Don't go unlocking all these passives and being like, oh my god, we popping off. That's not gonna work. You're gonna have to look for what in the sub slot. Uh, you want to put there for PvP for me. I am this is my PvP uh, team right here. I have Gilth under there for that nice uh, defensive buff. For Deathmatch, I have my uh, King here, but eventually, once I can finally build him up, I'm going to be putting somebody like Kane there because Kane's passive um, increases all allies' attack related stats by 10% in Deathmatch, which are the Demon Raids. So eventually, once I get him leveled up, he's really good. I got a high CC on him. I'm going to throw him over there in my. Um, uh, and I get the passive unlocked, I'll throw him over there in my support uh, spot to make sure I can, you know, get that extra 10% attack so I can be clearing those demons uh, even faster. So, 
Uh, overall, guys, cosmetics, again, do not be scared to spend on them. I'm doing it, uh, and, you know, it's very important in this game, especially for PvP, as a gearless PvP, you know, the king, the blue story king that has a bunch of cosmetics on is going to be better than your story king in a lot of cases, so you got to make sure you get that on there. And do not sleep on leveling up your associated units and gearing them, because that's going to be very important. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've been buying out them cosmetics and which one's your favorite. Uh, follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Subscribe to me here on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.